Well, a year ago, he was shot while taking out the trash at his home in Detroit. Seriously injured, Judge Terrence Berg has had a long, painful road to recovery, but he didn't want what happened to him to be used as a negative against the city. Our Mara McDonald live in the University District tonight. And Mara, for the second year in a row, the judge, and for that matter, so many others, uh, came out to try to end gun violence. They sure did, Devin. And you know what? Tonight we have a happy ending. Take a look. What a difference a year makes. This same time last March, federal judge Terrence Berg was in a wheelchair after being shot outside his university district home one night while taking out the trash. The bullet did serious damage to his leg, but now he may not be back up and running, but he's moving really well. I think we saw how wonderful it was when a community comes together and tries to show solidarity and support for each other. Berg was adamant after he was shot that he didn't want what happened to him to be another black eye on a city he knows, loves, and has lived in for years. So his church, Jesu Parish, and his neighbors have band together for their walk for hope to end gun violence. This is the second year. We don't care what race you are, what religion you are, but we work together and try to get this to be a wonderful place to live. Last year, Berg really struggled to move. This year, he was walking right up front with his wife, Anita. We say it over and over, but community matters and, oh, having hope matters. And so it's been a tough year, but it's, uh, you know, what a difference a year makes. Back here live, I asked Judge Berg tonight whether he's going to make this an annual thing, and he told me that he's happy to come out here and walk with his community anytime. And if they want to make it an annual thing, he's all in. We are live in the University District tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you.